This video walks you through the Rainbird ST8 Wi-Fi timer installation and setup. Using your phone, check the Wi-Fi signal strength at your timer's location. If the signal is weak or doesn't exist at the timer location, you may want to consider moving either the timer or the router so that they're closer together or adding a Wi-Fi signal booster to the network. Next, take a photo of your timer wiring details. This photo will be a useful reference when installing the new timer. Take note of your old timer settings, including the start times, run times, and watering days for each zone. You'll use this information later when you program the new timer. Unplug the transformer or turn off the power and disconnect the wires. Remove the mounting screws and take the old timer off the wall. Hang the new timer in its place and secure it using a second mounting screw. Connect each zone wire to the appropriate zone terminal using the photo you took earlier. Connect the common wire to the common terminal. Route the transformer power cord through the conduit opening at the bottom of the unit. Connect the two end wires on the power cord to the two 24 VAC terminal connections on the timer. Plug the transformer into a nearby outlet after you have completed and checked all wiring connections. If you are installing an outdoor timer, you may have to hardwire the power into the power supply box. To access this area, you'll need to remove the Wi-Fi module, the power supply box lid, and the power cord. The power cord hole can be expanded to three quarters of an inch by knocking out the circle below the power supply box. For both indoor and outdoor models, insert the two AAA backup batteries. These will maintain the correct time if there is a power outage in the future. Turn the power back on. Download the free Rainbird app from Apple's App Store or Google Play Store. If the module is alternating blinking green and red, then it is broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal and you can skip to the next step. If the LED is blinking red, press the button on the Wi-Fi module to start broadcasting Wi-Fi. Open the Wi-Fi connection menu on your smartphone or tablet. These settings will vary depending on the device. You should see a Wi-Fi network with Rainbird in the name. Connect to this network. If you don't see the Rainbird Wi-Fi network, there are a couple of things to check. First, confirm that the Wi-Fi module is fully inserted. Next, confirm that the timer has power. Once you have connected to the Rainbird network, open the Rainbird mobile app and select Add Controller. Click Next twice to skip through the troubleshooting tips we just covered. The Rainbird mobile app will identify the Rainbird timer and ask whether you want to rename it. You can change the name to something more intuitive, such as the property address or your name. Enter or confirm the zip code, which can be used to determine automatic weather adjustments, such as increasing or decreasing run times based on local weather forecasts. For additional security, enter a password that will be used whenever the timer is accessed remotely by a guest. You can change the password at any time. Any guests who had access will be prompted to enter the new password. The last step in the setup process is to connect the timer to the local Wi-Fi network. This step is optional, but makes accessing and updating the timer much easier. If you skip this step, you must be connected to the Wi-Fi module's hotspot to access the timer. Click Yes to connect the timer to a local Wi-Fi network. A help box pops up as a reminder that the Wi-Fi network should be 2.4 GHz. Select the Wi-Fi network from the list of networks, followed by the Wi-Fi password, and then click Next. Wi-Fi network names and passwords are often case-sensitive so be sure to enter the data correctly. 
These login credentials are securely stored in the Wi-Fi module. They'll never be sent to Rainbird or anyone else with access to the timer, and the Wi-Fi network cannot be accessed via the timer. The LED on the Wi-Fi module will start to blink green, indicating that the timer has successfully connected to the local area Wi-Fi network. Another optional step is to send yourself a backup of the controller configuration in case you ever needed to add it back into the Rainbird mobile app in the future. Congratulations! You can now access this timer from anywhere the mobile device has cellular service. And you're ready to program the timer using the Rainbird mobile app. For more information, watch the video Programming the ST8 Wi-Fi Timer using the Rainbird mobile app. If you're having trouble installing or programming your timer, please visit wifi.rainbird.com.